Hello again, Michael here, and in this video we're going to take a look at the subscribe options in WordPress using the Jetpack plugin. So there's two things you can do with this, uh, and in either case it allows your readers to subscribe to your website via email as opposed to uh, subscribing via RSS or coming to the website to see what's new. So I've already logged into my dashboard here and I'm going to go ahead and go into Jetpack and I've already connected it to my WordPress.com account which is covered in a previous video. And in this case we're looking at the subscriptions area which on my screen is located right here. Um, there's two ways you can use this and the first way is uh, available under this configure button. I'm going to go ahead and click that and what that's going to do is it's going to take me to a settings page down at the bottom here and where it has Jetpack subscription settings and by having these checked which they probably are already by default uh, what's going to happen is is that um, when somebody tries to leave a comment for a uh, particular blog post they will have the ability to either subscribe to the blog via email uh, through a checkbox and or follow uh, particular comments on that particular post via email. Uh, you keep these checked if you want those uh, to be available to your readers and you uncheck them if you want to turn them off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave them as is. Um, however, I'm still going to save changes because you always want to do that when you leave a settings page, especially if you did make a change. And real quick, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my blog here and I'm going to go to the comments for this particular post which is my previous Jetpack video and you can see here on the comments here is my notify me of follow-up comments via email and or notify me of new posts via email. So the new posts will subscribe them to the whole blog if they check this and if they check the uh, follow-up comments they will only get emails when there's a new comment on this particular post. Okay, so the other way you can use this is through a widget. So I'm going back to my dashboard here. I'm going to select Appearance and then Widgets. And when that loads up, I am going to find a new widget here labeled Blog Subscriptions Jetpack. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just drag that into my sidebar. Drop that open here. Um, I can title it. The default is subscribe to blog via email. I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Um, here is some optional text you can have displayed. Again, you can change this, but I'm going to leave it as the default. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to leave the subscribe button as subscribe, and I can, if I want, show the total number of subscribers, which so far to this blog are three, or I can go ahead and uncheck that and not show it. I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. Uh, there are some visibility options here. I'm not going to cover those. Uh, they're a little more advanced and it's um, situations where you can have this subscribe widget show up on certain pages or certain posts. Um, I don't see much of a use of that in the, the library settings, but you're welcome to take a look at those if you want and see what's available. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my blog here and scroll up to the top and I'm going to go back home to get to my home page and you will now see I have a new section here in my sidebar labeled subscribe to blog via email with my sample text. It says join three other subscribers because I had that on there and then because I'm logged in to the site as an administrator it already has my email address filled in for me. If I was just a regular patron coming to this website this would be blank and they would type in their email address and then they can go ahead and click subscribe. Um, anybody who subscribes will uh, generally receive an email asking them to confirm that subscription and all they have to do is click on the link in that email and then in this case if they use this one here they will get an email every time there is a brand new post related to the blog. Um, and I'm going to leave this turned on on uh, the project blog website here because I know many of you have asked to do that. So this is, feature is now available and if you want to subscribe to the project blog yourself you're welcome to do that. Um, you can also now make this available on your own library's websites. So thanks for watching and as always if you have any questions just feel free to leave a comment on this video's blog post. Thanks.